Hello friends, how are you all? Hope you all are keeping fine. I am also pretty fine, pretty well. And today, before we begin our session, let us all rise up, all jump up. Let us ready with an action song. Do you know the song, Walk, Walk, Walk in the Light? Yeah, if you don't know, I shall teach you. Okay, all of you please stand up. Get ready for the action song. It's a great thing to praise the Lord. It's a great thing to praise the Lord. It's a great thing to praise the Lord. Walking in the light of the Lord. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walk, 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 walk in the light. Walking in the light of the Lord. Yes, you learn. Please do it. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walking in the light of the Lord. It's a great thing to serve the Lord. It's a great thing to serve the Lord. It's a great thing to serve the Lord. Walking in the light of the Lord. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walking in the light of the Lord. It's a great thing to love the Lord. It's a great thing to love the Lord. It's a great thing to love the Lord. Walking in the light of the Lord. Yes, let us walk. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walk, 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 walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walking in the light of the Lord. Yes, children. Did you all like the action song? Yes? Yeah. It's a great thing to praise the Lord, love the Lord, thank the Lord, serve the Lord. When we are with Jesus, we have a comfortable journey. We have a joyful journey. So let us invite that Jesus into our heart, into our minds. So before we begin our session, let us close our eyes. All of you, please close your eyes. Join your hands. Let's stand for the prayer. Eucharistic Lord, we pray for your blessings in our life. Nourish us with the bread of heaven. Quench our thirst with your living water. We make this prayer in your sweet name, O Lord. Amen. See everybody together. Amen. Yeah. So today I am with another topic. Eucharistic uh, sacrifice and a meal. So can anybody tell me what is the most important festival of the Jews? Yes. Anybody? Yeah. It's of course Passover. Passover is the important festival of the Jews. As Jesus and his disciples got ready to celebrate the Passover, you know what happened. Yeah. Today in this session i'm just going to explain you about the establishment of the sacrament of holy eucharist jesus and his disciples got ready to celebrate the feast of passover and while they were having supper jesus took a loaf of bread and blessed it broke it and gave it to his disciples and said this is my body, eat it. In the same way, he took the cup, blessed it and gave it to his disciples and said, This is my blood, drink it. And after doing all these things, Jesus said, Do this in remembrance of me. Luke chapter 20, verses 22. Children, please keep in mind, it is... Luke chapter 22, verses 20. Do this in remembrance of me. When Jesus said this, the loaf or the bread became the body of Christ and the wine became the blood of Christ. This is a thing that happens in every day at the altar. When the priest says the institutional words, the Bread becomes 
the body of Christ and the wine becomes the blood of Christ. This is the great miracle that happens every day at the altar. We should believe that. We should believe that. That's why it is said that we should have a good mind and heart, a good disposition of mind and heart when you participate in the Holy Eucharist. Because we all are at the altar uh, watching uh, or participating in a miracle. When the priest says it becomes the body and blood of Christ. Yes, children, it is something amazing to know. That's why all the saints and the uh, angels are there at the altar. So we need to believe that we are not only me standing at the altar or participating in the Holy Eucharist. The whole angels, all the saints are with us joining in this Holy Eucharist. So uh, we I just explained about the institution of the Holy Eucharist. So Jesus established the sacrament of Holy Eucharist on Monday Thursday. Monday Thursday. And he died for us on the Calvary on Good Friday. So children, we need to believe that. That's why it is said that Holy Eucharist is a sacrifice. Because Jesus died for our sins. We all are sinners, right? Is there anybody without sin? But Jesus was a sinless man. But he died for our sake. To redeem us from the slavery of sin. So we need to believe that Jesus died for our sins. He is resurrected for our sake. He is no more dead, but he is alive. He is alive. He is alive through the, the sacrament of Holy Eucharist. So children, Holy Eucharist is a sacrifice because he sacrificed his life on the cross, on the Mount of Calvary. Now, let me tell you, why do we say that Holy Eucharist is a meal? Because he gives his body and blood for the sake of the people, for the sake of the humanity. We all are away from God. When we sin, we are away from the Lord. But his love brought all of us together and he died for our sins. So it becomes a sacrifice. And why do we say it is a meal? Because he gives his body and blood. So we need to believe that it is the blood and body of Christ. It is not the merely the bread and the blood. It, it is not the um, a loaf or the bread and the wine. It becomes a real body of and uh, blood of Jesus Christ. So we, we need to consume them. We need to receive them with much respect and reverence. Yes, children. Jesus is inviting each one of us to dine with him. Okay. Have you heard the song? Come and dine, the master calleth. Yes, let's all sing together. Come and I, the master calleth. Come and I. He may feast at Jesus' table all the time, all the time. He who fed the multitude, fed the water into wine. To the hungry calleth now. Come and I. Come and I, the master calleth. Come and I. Join with me. Come and die, the master calleth, come and die. You may feast the Jesus table all the time, all the time. He who fed the multitude, turn the water into wine, till the hungry calleth now, come and die. Yes, children, Jesus is inviting each one of us to dine with him. Dine. What is the mean? What do you mean by dying? To be with him. Let us receive that Holy Eucharist with all worthy of mind and heart. We should participate with full mind and heart. 
our participation of the holy eucharist should be something active and alive we should have a good disposition of mind and heart in order to receive the holy communion because it is something that gives and nourishes our body and soul as food nourishes or the food becomes the part of the body the holy eucharist becomes the part of life and it nourishes our divine life it nourishes our soul and body so we when we are uh, with the lord god will bless us with all his choices blessings when we receive his body and blood with due importance with due preparation god will bless us he will be always united with us so when we receive the holy communion we are uniting ourselves with the eucharistic lord so children when we participate in the holy eucharist we need to have a full disposition of mind and heart and participate in the holy eucharist more actively so we will join our hands and pray for a minute to the eucharistic lord o most sacrament most holy o sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine so let's give glory and honor to our eucharistic lord the beloved lord he is always with us let us unite ourselves with the person of jesus let us encounter him in every day of our life so our life will be joyful let us invite him when you go for the study when you do uh, some work when you feel uh, lazy to do some work just call him he will come with you right i guarantee you just call him he will be there jesus please be with me he will come definite okay he will come he will join with you you so that you will have a success in all that you do just inviting he uh, ready he is ready to come with you he is ready to come with you just to make a call you make a call to your friends right so same way just call him accept him as your own friend redeemer so that you will have a comfortable journey always walk with the lord journey with the lord so wishing you and blessing you a comfortable journey with the eucharistic lord i remain thank you have a nice day god bless you dear children